Hey guys, I just wanted to make you a short video about these density calculations that might be a little easier than the video that I originally made for you with the whiteboards. So um, this is what we call the density triangle. And uh, it's also sometimes affectionately called the cheater's triangle because it makes finding, figuring out these equations uh, really easy. So we've got our triangle and we have um, our equation, which hopefully we remember that at least is density equals mass over volume. So we've got density in the lower left, mass on the top, and volume on the lower right. So by using this triangle, we can get any of our equations. So density is here on the bottom left, and so I see mass over volume. Or if I was trying to figure out volume, I can do mass over density or divided by density. And then if I'm solving for mass, I can notice that density and volume are right next to each other. So we're going to multiply them together. So if they're next to each other, we multiply. If one is on top of the other, then we're going to divide. So we have an example here of uh, calculating density. We are given a volume of eight centimeters cubed and a mass of 16 grams. So we're gonna look at our uh, triangle and say, okay, I'm trying to solve for density. I see that my other um, measurements here are mass and volume. I have mass over or divided by volume. And so that's how I know what to do with these numbers because sometimes I multiply, sometimes I divide. So we are going to, um, first when we show our work, we have to show the equation that we are using. So since we're solving for density, we said we're gonna use density equals mass over volume. We got that from our triangle or maybe we already knew that or maybe we learned that in our last video. Step two that we have to show in our work is to plug in those values. So plug in the mass, plug in the volume, and include the units. So another way of thinking about this is showing your work, not just the answer, but how did you get your answer? So we plug in our mass on the top and our volume on the bottom. Also note that the units are included. If we don't include our units, we won't get full credit. Step three, we solve. So we come up with our correct answer and we make sure our answer has the correct unit. So in this case, I've got 16 divided by eight, which would give me two. The unit would be grams per centimeter cubed or cubic centimeters. And then, um, or we can just abbreviate that to just G over centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. So for density, our units are always gonna be a mass unit over a volume unit like this, grams over cubic centimeters. For uh, volume, our units are always going to be um, e they will either be uh, something dealing with liters, like we learned in our first chapter, or um, it could be, in this case, like cubic centimeters or cubic meters. And then mass, we will measure somehow with grams. So either grams by itself in this one, or gram, I'm sorry, kilograms, milligrams, any of those prefixes that we've talked about before. All right, thanks for listening.